Well, full time, Arsenal 6, Ludogorets nil. That was a great deal of fun to watch. You'll, you'll notice um, I'm not there. Once again, I'm at home with Chewbacca. Uh, maybe I shouldn't go to the games anymore because that was an absolutely brilliant performance. Um, Meza Ozil, of course, will take the headlines. I'm sorry, Leo Messi, I didn't see any of your hat trick against Manchester City. I was watching another maestro of European football strut his stuff. Admittedly, the competition wasn't quite as intense. Ludogorets, not the strongest side out of the Bulgarian league. Um, I think particularly their goalkeeper didn't cover himself in glory. It was a bit like you know when you're playing Sunday League and you notice that the other team have got a dodgy keeper and it's sort of a shoot on sight policy. You felt like Arsenal adopted that slightly. I mean, almost everything that went on target seemed to hit the net. But let's not uh, let that detract from what was a really positive night. Arsenal made four changes. Uh, they were David Ospina, who came in in goal and was excellent. Uh, for all you know, I've talked about Ludogorets lack of quality in the first half. They posed a considerable threat. Uh, even the most cursory reading about them before the game would have identified uh, their striker, Cafu, as uh, the main threat. He's got a lot of pace on the counter-attack, and we saw that, but Spina on, on two occasions was very quick to deny the opposition. He's lost no sharpness in his time on the bench. Kieran Gibbs came in at left-back. I think he'll be very content with his night's work. Certainly gave Arsene Wenger something to think about with Nacho Monreal struggling in recent weeks. Uh, Coquelin came back in, Xhaka dropped to the bench. I thought that uh, you know Xhaka might play, especially given that he's now suspended at domestic level, use up in his game time while we can, but Coquelin came in and he was outstanding, winning the ball multiple times, pressing quite high up the field uh, and generally performing very well, justifying his selection. And then Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, who had a mixed night really, but does come away from the game with a goal and assist. And for a player who has struggled for end products in his career, and has talked about how that's what he needs to improve. Ultimately, uh, you've got to look on that as a positive evening's work. Uh, but there we go. So the, the core of the side is the same. Arsenal obviously deciding to keep Alexis Sanchez up top. He's absolutely integral to everything we do at the moment. And although he only played an hour or so tonight, he was still absolutely outstanding. He, he, classic fashion, he was frustrated to come off. But he opened the scoring, a stunning chip, cutting inside from the left, dinking the goal over the stranded keeper. But that wasn't all there was to his game. I mean, his his passing from that number nine position is excellent. He drops deep, and when Walcott goes uh, in behind, Alexis is so good at finding him, often with these quite clipped, lofted passes, similar to the one he played for Ursula at the weekend. There was one outstanding uh, no-look chipped pass tonight, which really uh, took the biscuit. He's just been brilliant um, for the last few weeks, and tonight was a, a bit of a, a masterclass from him. Walcott himself made it 2-0, uh, Walcott got from outside the box, quite an unusual thing. Uh, curling an effort beyond the goalkeeper, I mean, that shows the, the confidence he's playing with and the goals keep coming. Straight after half-time, Oxlade-Chamberlain tucked away. That'll do him the world of good. And then Meza Ozil took over, really. It was the Meza Ozil show, the first hat-trick of his career. And he seems to have uh, basically discovered goal scoring. I mean, <laughs> he's got six, uh, I think, now in all competitions. Five or six. I think he only got eight last season. He uh, is looks much more dangerous. It's not only the conviction with which he's taking on the shots, it's the positions he's getting into. His first goal, he ran beyond the defence, a long pass from Santi Gazzola, one brilliant touch from Ozil to take it out of the sky, and another right-footed uh, to knock it beyond the goalkeeper at his near post. Second goal was right-footed to, yes, a volley, created by Lucas Perez, who would have felt unlucky to not to start the game, but created two late goals for Ozil the first, he showed his pace to reach the ball left-hand side and a brilliant first-time cross. Ozil pulled off that old trick, volleying the ball into the ground. Who knows if he means it or not. You wouldn't put it past him uh, the way he's playing at the moment and bounced over the goalkeeper and in. And then right at the death, Lucas was going down the right this time, lifted the ball over the defender and Ozil volleyed it into the near post. Uh, a great night for him and he seems to have yeah, discovered that goal-scoring touch. Long may it continue. Hopefully, nights like this you know, give him the appetite to keep scoring goals because we need an Arsenal scoring goals for fun. And a clean sheet too. I'd it'd be remiss not to mention Mustafi and Koscielny, who showed excellent power to recovery at time. I mean, in the first half, it was actually relatively tight. You know, we were giving Ludogorets opportunities on the break, but the second half we really controlled and dominated. And by the end, it was it felt like a friendly. A really good win. Uh, I'll 
Champions League campaign continues in a positive fashion and it's Middlesbrough at the weekend. Uh, there'll be some fresh legs for that game. Iwobi could come back in. Uh, so, uh, Matt Montreal perhaps. So things looking very, very positive indeed. But uh, congratulations to Mesut Ozil. His first hat-trick for Arsenal. First hat-trick of his whole career. And what a joy it was to watch. Cheers.